um, little like intro, and you just gotta not cringe while I do it. <laughs> okay. I will cringe the whole time. What's up? Welcome, villains from the internet, to evil stories with ya boy, UMD. Uh, I'll give a quick summary of what we're about to get, what we're about to do. Uh, or what I'm doing here today. Uh, I am a professional yapper, and I thought it'd be fun to, you know, start up a little podcast and document some stories of my life, of things I've learned about, just bullshit that I think is evil. And that's like the main theme is just evil shit. Uh, this episode, I am joined by my own flesh and blood, Dylan, go ahead and introduce yourself. What is going on? I have nothing to introduce. I'm just here. My brother's here just to fucking, just to, just to be, hear me yap. I'm going to be yapping a bit. Um... But don't worry, I'm not just yapping about nothing. We got we got some shit to talk about. Um, first, I will ask Dylan, do you have any evil stories? Like evil when you story? when yeah when you hear evil story, what's like the first like story that comes to mind? Like personal story, evil. Yeah, it can be a personal story, can be, I don't know, some evil shit you heard about recently. Hmm. Uh, I'm not really sure. But what 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 is yours? Give me let me give me some time to brew. Um Let me let me hear yours first. Well, I'd say what's going on with uh with Mr. P. Diddy is pretty evil. Sounds like some pretty heinous evil shit. Um, eh. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> nah, I've, I've, you know, you've heard worse, I'm sure. Um, but no, yeah. Uh, there's been some updates, but I thought it'd be interesting to uh, go through the timeline a bit of the recent. I really, really indulge in in exactly what's what's going on because i hear i'll have fucking people at work come up to me and say like you hear about the and i'm like i fucking i kind of heard but it's like i read like a fucking just thing on reddit and it's like i didn't really give a shit or wasn't paying attention so i don't really know exactly what's going on with him i just keep seeing sexual assaults something to that degree you know yeah pretty evil shit um, but Dylan, did you have a story? Did you think of anything or did you want to jump into Diddy? Yeah, we could jump into Diddy. All right, let's diddle, am, let's diddle with Diddy. Cause I haven't heard, uh, you know, I've heard the obvious stuff that he's, cause he's been like arrested now and it's kind of all, all coming to light. Um, right. but you know, I don't know, I don't know the full extent, so I'm definitely curious as to everything. All right, Curious George, let me fill you in. So, let's see here. We have, I'm reading a Billboard article with uh, with a nice timeline for viewers at home if you want to read through. Uh, it says, November 16th, 2023, Casey files her lawsuit. Casey began dating Combs in 2007, uh, and the two were on and off, calling it quits for good in 2018. So that's like... Six years ago? Yes, roughly six years ago. Uh, the Me and You singer filed a lawsuit in November. Oh, thanks for, yeah, thanks for letting me know about his, his song right now. I really, that's what I'm interested in. A little, little sponsorship to his <laughs> Me and You. I don't even think I've heard that song. I don't know much of Diddy's music. I just know he was uh, involved with uh, Biggie and Pac. 
he was really close with them. I want or not close with like I want to say he was like really close with 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 Biggie Smalls, and he has direct ties to Tupac's uh, uh, murder, supposedly, allegedly. Yeah. Um, I wish there was like a good documentary about about that. I really w- would want to watch it. Uh, okay. Twenty years. Diddy files a lawsuit in November. Uh, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm I'm bad. The me and you singer is the is Casey, not not Diddy. I thought that's kind of what was, that's kind of what I was thinking. I was like, I fucked like up. A... I got a I, I I went off. That's that's my fault. Little AD, sure, yeah, ADD no. re re over here. The me and you singer, Casey, filed the lawsuit in November accusing Combs of egregious behavior with years of abuse in the instance of uh, a grape. That's what you're supposed to say on YouTube. Uh, in a lawsuit filed in Manhattan, federal court attorneys for Casey alleged she had endured, quote, or quote, endured over a decade of his violent behavior and disturbed demands, including repeated beatings and forcing her to engage in sex acts with male sex workers. According to the complaint, after she attempted to separate herself from him in 2018, Combs allegedly forced her, forced into her home, uh, graped her, and then while she repeatedly said no, tried to push him away. Okay pretty fucking gross and evil damn i don't think he was that evil fuck casey claimed that she suffered episodes of horrific abuse during the relationship including times when he would fly into an uncontrollable rage and beat miss ventura savagely uh she also alleged in her suit that diddy blew up a car belonging to kid cuddy in 2012 what after he learned that the rapper was romantically interested in her. Whoa! Whoa! That came out of nowhere. You know Kid Cudi, right? Uh, I've heard the name. I don't listen to any of his music, though. Ah, what? Day and night. Mm-mm, I toss oh, and turn. Okay. I keep stressing my mind, man. Yeah, okay, yeah, never mind. Dude. You should check out a couple of his albums his earlier work too specifically he was dropping he was dropping uh he dropped a really good album around the same time that uh graduation dropped there was a like the same year i want to say 2007 so yeah like us around the same time kid cuddy has an album that came out around that time and a lot of the a lot of those uh uh of music from kid cuddy and, and kanye like they've uh, they've always just been good together god damn it God damn it, we'll never get another album. All right. We're not talking about that. We're talking about Diddy. November 17th, 2023, Casey and Combs agreed to, agree to settle. Less than 24 hours after the lawsuit was reported, Combs and Casey reached a, a settlement for an undisclosed amount. Terms of the deal were not known. I have decided to resolve the matter amicably on terms... Amicably. Not amicably. Amicably. On terms that I have some level of control. Casey said in a statement issued by her attorney, Douglas Wigdor, the dumb name, I want to thank my family, fans, and lawyers for their unwavering support. Wigdor (laughs) also claimed that the musician had offered his client eight figures to prevent her from filing the lawsuit, which she rejected. Combs responded with a statement, quote, We have decided to resolve this matter amicably. I wish to... I wish Casey and her family all the best. Love. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Don't. We do not need a responding statement. What the fuck? Oh, I just want. If I could just. <laughs> no, you don't say anything, brother. You don't. <laughs> hey, thanks for settling <laughs> the grape charges. All right. What? <laughs> you fucking... Uh, November 23rd, 2023. Combs accused of sexual assault and drugging in early 90s incident. A day before the New York State Adult Survivors Act expired, Combs was hit with a pair of sexual assault lawsuits. One from an anonymous plaintiff who claimed the music mongol sexually assaulted and beat her. While the others... While the other 
was filed by a woman named Joy Dickerson Neal, who accused him of drugging and assaulting her when she was in college, when she was a college student in 1991. Dickerson Neal claimed that Diddy had footage of the assault and alleged distributed it, distributed it to others around the music industry. Sorry. Um, November 28th, 2023. So this is all from roughly a year ago. Yeah, almost about it. It's about to be a year ago. Uh, um... Here we go. I was reading a little bit of this. I'm not going to lie. This part. Uh, November 28th, 8th, 2023, Diddy steps down as Revolt's chairman. With three lawsuits filed against him, Combs agrees to, res agrees to resign from his role at Revolt, which he helped launch in 2013, and no longer serve as chairman of, digital media, of the digital media company. While Mr. Combs has previously no operational or day-to-day -day role in the business, this decision helps ensure that Revolt remains steady, fast, focused on our mission to create meaningful content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't really, I don't care. This is the part that matters. 50 Cent has been relentless yeah. in trolling Diddy throughout the obstacles in his life and offered to buy Revolt from the bad boy boss after learning he was stepping aside. I'll buy that from you, Playboy. From the for the low because you know that you know Cadillac and AT and T gonna pull out. He wrote about two photos of headlines about Diddy stepping down. I'll give you a few dollars for it now. Sell it to me. Then we can be friends. I'm serious. Call my phone. And then tags gunitbrands.com. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have seen uh, a lot of videos of uh, 50 Cent talking shit about Diddy. Uh, oh, like on uh, the, I think it's the Breakfast Club, Charlemagne's uh, podcast. Yeah. And uh, yeah, talking just talking shit about Diddy. He does, he does it a bunch. Dude. Yeah, I mean, you can find early, early Instagram posts. And even even songs, uh, I'm sure he's written songs about Diddy, you know, or I don't know if he's written a song about him, but I'm pr I'm pretty sure he's got bars. Like, I just I can't think of what song, but uh, December six, twenty twenty three, Combs denies all allegations after fourth lawsuit is filed. Damn, bro is stacking them up, fighting demons. <laughs> God damn. Uh, fourth lawsuit showed up at the Moggle's Mo Mogul, not Moggle, Mogul's doorstep in December in which Jane Doe person alleged she was sex trafficked and gang raped by Combs. Former Bad Boy Records president Harve Pierre and other individual in 2003 when she was just 17 years old. Blech. That's that sucks. That's sad. Lawyers for Pierre did not respond to Billboard's request for comment. Combs released a statement on social media denying all allegations. Uh, yeah, this. Oh, never mind. Never mind. He says enough is enough. He wrote for the last couple weeks. I have sat silently and watched people try to assassinate my character, destroy my reputation, my legacy. Sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday let me be absolutely clear i do not do any of the awful things being alleged i'll fight my name fight for my name my family and for my truth womp womp december 10th 2023 brands sever ties with his e-commerce company okay december 13th 2023 hulu scraps combs family reality show plans <laughs> Oh no! Oh, I want that. Oh, Hulu series following Diddy's family was scrapped in December. Sources relayed to Billboard that Diddy Plus Seven was only in its early stages and not currently in production. The project was said to be produced for Hulu by James Corden's production company. Why do I know who's James Corden? Why do I know that guy? Sounds like a very popular director. I don't know the name. Well, I know the name. Oh, then... James Corden. Okay. Oh, gosh. Oh, God. Okay, yeah, this guy. I always confuse him with uh, Adam Ruins Everything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, 
James Corden. No, oh, yeah, he's annoying. He's a he's pretty bold he's, of Google to put. He's uh, British. That's why. under his under his name, English actor and comedian. Comedian is kind of a stretch. Yeah, why'd they put that there? Who put that there? A fan <laughs> must have put that there or some shit. Or maybe somebody that, like, I don't know, read that he was a comedian but, like, isn't, and then they just put it on there. I don't, I don't know. Diddy Plus 7? That's a funny title. Diddy Plus 7. Is it, like... Diddy s- Plus 7 Lawsuits. Plus 7... <laughs> Hell yo, dude. <laughs> I was workshopping. I was workshopping. That's good. No, that's it. That's the bit. <laughs> Diddy plus seven lawsuits. <laughs> oh, man. Shit, that was good. And scene. All right, we don't need to do the rest of the podcast. There's another 43 minutes. We can just let that I can just be dead air. That is it. Oh, shit. February 2024. Music producer Sue's Combs. Uh, producer Rodney Jones. Lil Rod worked on the Love album Off the Grid 2023. I have not heard this album. Maybe I'll check out this album. And filed a lawsuit against Combs in February. Rod accused Combs of sexual misconduct, assault, and harassment. Accused the musician of groping and touching his butt, trying to groom him into engaging in sexual acts with Combs and other individuals on his team. Lawsuit brings up an alleged incident at Chalice Records Studio in Hollywood from September 2022. It resulted in a man being shot following a heated conversation between Diddy, his son Justin, and another man. The producer is also suing Combs UMG. Motown, Love Records, and Chalice Chalice Record, ugh, sorry, Chalice Recording Studio for providing inac, inac, inaccurate, fuck me, sorry, inaccurate. <laughs> why can't I say this? Inaccurate. No, it's in a in a in a inac. No, what the fuck? How do you spell it? Inadequate. Inadequate. Inadequate? That's how you say it. Inadequate. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I was trying to say. Inadequate. Inaccurate is what you were yeah. trying to say. Yeah, fuck me. Or neg- negligent security that night. Combs attorney Sean Holly denied Jones Jr. allegations and statement shared with Billboard saying that the producer was just, quote, looking for an unserved payday. She continued, we have overwhelming, indisputable proof that his claims are complete lies. While we address these outlandish allegations in court and take all appropriate action against those who make them. March 2024, federal agents raid his L.A. and Miami homes. Department of Homeland Security investigation investigations. New York executed search warrants with federal agents raiding Combs, Los Angeles, and Miami homes. Uh, Homeland Security raids were reportedly done in connection with an ongoing federal sex trafficking investigation, according to CNN. Prosecutors from the Southern District of New York are leading the case. Quote, Homeland Security Investigations, New York, uh, executed law enforcement actions as part of an ongoing investigation with assistance from HSI Los Angeles and HSI Miami. Holy shit. And our Mm -hmm. local law enforcement. Yeah, what the fuck? Dude, half the country is after Diddy. (laughs) <laughs> He's got all the fucking initials after him. Oh my god. Well, it's Homeland Security from New York, Los Angeles, and Miami. Bruh. And all the local law enforcement partners. Uh, we will provide further information as it becomes available. The Department of Homeland Security said in a statement. Moving on to the next day, March 26th, Combs reportedly sells his stake in Revolt TV. Damn. Uh, doesn't look like 50 Cent is getting it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> uh, Combs reportedly agreed to deal to sell his stake in Revolt TV after stepping down from his role as chairman in November amid sexual assault allegations. According, according to TMZ, the mogul sold his remaining shares of Revolt in an anonymous buyer. To an anonymous buyer. 
50 cents. <laughs> <laughs> he already he sold it. Maybe maybe 50 did get it. <laughs> maybe he's the anonymous buyer. No, I guarantee it'd be 50, so fucking 50, hilarious. He would be all over every podcast. You yeah, I bought that shit. <laughs> you know, it'd be hilarious if there was a hyperlink to anonymous buyer, and it you click it, and it goes right to an Instagram post by Fifty Cent, being like, "I got Revolt Record, Revolt TV, <laughs> and I'm changing it to Fifty TV." I don't know. Oh shit. Okay, the report noted that the company will remain black owned financial terms of the deal were not disclosed well thank god for that march 26 this is the same day attorney slams witch hunt raids combs attorney aaron dyer spoke out against the gro quote gross overuse of military level force in the raids of the musician's residence and vowed to an to end the witch hunt against his client there was a gross overuse of military level force as search warrants were executed at mr combs residencies uh dyer told billboard in a statement there is no excuse for excessive show of force and hostility exhibited by authorities or the way his children and employees were treated mr combs was never detained but spoke to and cooperated with authorities dyer added diddy and his family have not been arrested and are allowed to travel how they please even after the pair of raids this unprecedented ambush paired with the advanced coordinated media presence leads to a premature rush to judgment of Mr. Combs and is nothing more than a witch hunt based on meritless accusations made in, a, in civil lawsuits. He continued, there has been no finding of criminal, of crim, criminal or civil liability with any of these allegations. Mr. Combs is innocent and will continue to fight every single day to clear his name. Who the fuck is this? Alleged associate arrested drug charges March 25th. Wait, what? The day before? Why are we going back in time? What the fuck, Billboard? A uh, 25-year-old man accused of being a drug mule for Diddy in recent lawsuit was arrested Apalaka Airport. Opalaka Airport? Apalaka? Apa, yip, yip. At the same time, Combs... Uh, Los Angeles and Miami homes were being raided per oh well because he had homes in, in different states that's why Homeland Security is in okay I just put that together I'm an idiot All right. Uh, per Rolling Stone Brendan Paul was booked on a pair of drug possession charges for cocaine and marijuana 420 baby let's go cocaine and marijuana that does not sound fun an upper and a psychedelic Ugh. with some homework and in, from internet detectives connecting the dots paul was identified as former ncaa athlete who played basketball at syracuse university from 2018 to 2020 he definitely looks like he does coke and weed <laughs> uh no wait is he a victim it said he was a drug mule I f maybe i feel bad don't feel bad he was accused of it in a recent lawsuit he was arrested okay i don't know uh may 10th uh combs asked judge to dismiss a uh, grape claim combs asked a federal judge to dismiss the jane doe lawsuit filed in december 2023 calling the claims that he had two co-defendants graped a 17 year old in 2003 false and hideous he also argued that the case was filed too late according to law mr combs and his companies categorically deny plaintiffs decades old tale against them which has accused incalculable damage to their reputations nailed it and business standing before any evidence has been presented reading the filing plaintiff cannot allege what day or time of the year the alleged incident occurred but miraculously remembers other salacious details despite her alleged incapac incapacitated uh, condition the fi uh, fi filing also asks that the case be dismissed now with prejudice to prevent anyone's reputational injury and waste from judicial resources dylan we how how you feeling so far um so i think one of the uh funniest things is like when you're uh, asking the judge to throw out your previous rape allegations is grape the defense. grape gotta say grape. grape grape sorry grape 
your previous grape allegations, uh, the funniest thing that you could do is say, well, it happened outside of the Statue of Limitations. <laughs> that is like the wildest defense. Is going well. It's uh, yeah. It's like it a slight admission. So long ago. <laughs> <laughs> like that's what you're worried about. Yeah, you're they're trying. They're trying to do the Cody Co. They're trying to pull the Cody Co. Because <laughs> apparently, what he did with so and so is also same thing out of the limitations. Yeah, uh, it's kind uh, of a wild defense. Like I know that's not all, but like I don't know. Even mentioning it is kind of like, come on. <laughs> come on <laughs> um, which i think i think statue of limitations is kind of like a really weird <laughs> like argument at, for anything like yes i robbed that bank but it was eight years ago and the <laughs> and if it was seven years ago i'd be guilty but it happened so long ago yeah like i don't really understand how how like why that makes any sense oh I have an evil story. You f yeah, you found your evil story? We can talk about it after. Um, okay. But the, or kind of just something evil that happened in recent news. The execution of the innocent black man in Alabama, I believe. Have you heard about that? Marcellus Williams. Yes, that's his name. I, 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 uh, I actually already, I literally talked about it in my last evil yeah. stories. In my last uh, podcast. Yeah, that's that that's what comes to mind. Yeah, that was that was pretty evil. That's yeah, and uh, not pretty one evil. with a happy ending either. Like yeah, not that... one with even an explainable or understanding ending. Like right, just just nah. I don't wanna like. I I I think that's like. I think if there's any shred of evidence that any person who's going to be executed, if there's any shred of evidence that, uh they are innocent it should like case be reopened basically you know like they should do a full another full investigation but... all right here's a better idea uh no death penalty i don't think there should be one i don't think the government should be able to just murk innocent people uh uh yeah i don't believe in that what about non-innocent people Rehabilitation. Baller. Yup. It's better than prison. It's better than just letting innocent people die because we they go through the the system of being accused and being sued or not sued but accused and yeah. And it's like even if and you someone innocent, like because because anybody can be accused, and any and so many people can go through, um, you know, go through false allegations and everything, and it's like that will completely ruin your life. Like that can completely ruin your life if you are falsely accused. You know what I mean? Like you could just lose your job if you're falsely accused. Say you know you can't go to work or even. Spend thousands and thousands of dollars on uh, lawyer, lawyer fees. Right. As like just being falsely accused can completely ruin your life. Right. It gives you gives uh -huh. you a bad reputation and. Yeah. Um, you know, it's just, just an innocent man was killed by the state, and and still nothing was done. So that's. Yeah, we can. Why I fucking back, do the pledge the every day. Um. So, <laughs> every morning, I get up, before I stretch, before I go to work, do the pledge. Just just like twice over in my head, hand on my heart. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, back to Diddy. Um, this is kind of funny. Uh, May 14th, 2024, uh, he says, Diddy posts a cryptic message. Uh, after the legal cases, the mogul emerged. I, I love that they keep calling him a mogul. <laughs> uh, what does that even mean? Um, let me look it up. An important, huh. powerful person, especially in motion picture or media industry. Huh. Okay. But not what you were thinking at all. I've heard it before. Like Ludwig. 
I don't know if you know who Ludwig is. He does a, th- a segment called like mobile the YouTuber Mail. or the yeah. classic arts instructor. Yes. The art instructor. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, but yeah, he's got a mobile mail. And it's like him just talking about news, like recent news and bullshit. Um, so I, I thought it meant something to that degree. Just like he's a mogul of like, it's, 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 it's I don't know a gargoyle in the news i don't fucking know not a gargoyle but just like a monster <laughs> uh i don't fuck uh the mogul emerged with a cryptic message on instagram quote time time tells truth read a message posted on his instagram may 14th which he captioned simply love and uh, the Instagram post has been taken down. Uh, oh. So so it says, Time tells truth in his post. May 17th, video of hotel assault surfaces. <laughs> <laughs> video shows truth. <laughs> <laughs> they caught your ass in 4K. He dropped this. He released this to, to the anonymous buyer from earlier. <laughs> Oh, shit. On May 17th, 2016 surveillance footage obtained by CNN shows... You know what? Can we, can we pause real quick? You know what would okay. be re- really funny is if uh, he gets slapped with insider trading for selling his stock knowing that he was going to be uh, <laughs> indicted in a criminal investigation. Damn. <laughs> they fucking, Damn on top of all that, they slapped a fucking <laughs> insider trading charge. Holy that would shit. be kind of funny. <laughs> That'd be wild. Um, surveillance footage obtained by CNN appears or shows Diddy physically assaulting girlfriend Casey during a hotel stay. In the clip, Combs wearing nothing but a white towel around his waist, shoved uh, Ven- Ventura. I wanted to say Ventura. 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 Maybe it is Ventura. Casey Ventura, Ventura? Jimmy, or Ventura Jimmy Perry doing in P Diddy's apartment. <laughs> oh Lord! Uh, shoved Ventura, Ventura. I'm gonna say Ventura. Shoved her to the ground near the elevator bank. Kicked her several times while she lay on the ground and dragged her down the hallway. He later shown. He is later shown in a chair, uh, grabbing something off the table and appeared throwing it at her. He then walked away before turning toward her once more, just as one of the elevator doors opened and someone was seen walking out. God damn. I couldn't imagine walking out and seeing that shit. Uh. So I also have, uh, I, I got something else. Um, you know, actually it, it I'll, I'll save it till later. Okay. Yeah. We're like, um, we're just about done. I can kind of we can speed it up a little bit. What we got? We still got like half an hour left. So, um, let's see here. Read this real quick. Casey's husband speaks out. So this is an Instagram post by him saying, "Letter to women and children: Men who hit women aren't men. Men who enable it and protect these people aren't men. As men, violence against women shouldn't be shouldn't be inevitable. Check your brothers, your friends, and your family. Our daughters, sisters, mothers, and wives should feel protected and loved. Hold the women in your life with the utmost regard. Men who hurt women hate women. To all the survivors, uh, find the men and women, find the men and women who help and love. To all the all the survivors your stories are real and people believe you to all the survivors you're not alone and there are men and women who care only for your well-being and safety we want you to succeed and flourish to all women and children i'm sorry you live in a world where you're seen or where you're not protected and you don't feel equal i won't i want to raise my daughters in a world where they are safe and loved to abusers you're done you're not safe anymore you're not protected anymore the men by your side are just as weak you're so miserable with yourself in that some, uh, something censored here and that something would be considered a kindness. I don't know why it's censored, but it's pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty based. Mm-hmm. Who said that? Uh, Casey, Casey Ventura's husband. So the woman that Diddy was beating on. Uh-huh. 
Um, May 17th, law district attorney explains why Combs can't be prosecuted over a hotel video. May 19th, Combs issued apology for hotel in- incident. Why do I remember this? I remember the video coming out. I don't remember the apology. 70 sec clip. He says, it's so difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life, but sometimes you got to do that. In the clip, I was fucked up. I mean, I hit rock bottom. I make no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. I'm disgusted. I was disgusted then when I did it. I'm disgusted now. Were you? <laughs> Were you at the time? You look pretty just enraged. I don't know if dis- you were disgusted. Uh, I went out and sought professional help, he continued. Had to go into therapy, into rehab. Had to ask God for his mercy and his grace. Okay, I don't care. May 20th, New York mayor considers revoking Combs' key to the city at this <laughs> point. <laughs> at this point, brother. <laughs> God damn. Just considered it. He didn't like just do it. He considered it. He was uh, like, mm, I'll think about it. Mayor Eric Adams revealed in an interview he was considering revoking the key they'd bestowed upon him in 2023. Wait, what? They did that shit the year before? <laughs> or yeah. last year? What the fuck? <laughs> Why did they give him? last year holy shit he's that brother has had like how many out how many how many lawsuits and cases and all that before brother that's fucking hilarious that's just eric adams is a fucking fucking idiot dude he's such an idiot this really i think it might be a jewelry box but what's behind the jewelry box? A gun. <laughs> is that is that something he said? Yeah, it's a video he did on like uh, on like <laughs> keeping an eye on your kids, pretty much. Oh, and he God. goes around like an average bedroom, and just behind every fucking picture and everything is guns and crack pipes and switchblades and like everything. Let's go. <laughs> And it's just, I don't know, just the way he says it all is fucking hilarious. It's like, dude, what are you fucking talking about? <laughs> I gotta see that clip. Uh, let's see here. May 22nd, or 21st, former model sues Combs for alleged assault. May 23rd, Casey breaks her silence. Casey says, thank you for all the love and support from my family and friends, strangers, and those I have yet to meet. The outpouring of love has created a place for my younger self to settle and feel safe for now, but this is the only only the beginning. Domestic violence is the issue. It broke me down to someone I never thought I would become. With a lot of hard work, I am better today, but I will always be recovering from my past. Love always, Casey. Damn. God damn. Poor girl. We should watch this video Jeez, after we go through everything. After we either finish or just on the after we finish all the Diddy stuff. Okay. This is the, this is the video I was talking about. Right. And he just got indicted too, Eric Adams. Indicted? Really? Yes. Yeah. It's, it was oh, like shit. Years, uh, five did... days ago from. I did not hear about that. I saw his ass get owned it's on wire Shining fraud Spotify. and bribery. Oh yeah, I seen a clip of him saying that. Because he got indicted for wire fraud and bribery. And uh, it, was a, it was a clip of him saying that this is the worst thing that's ever happened to New York. And it's like, they... Like, the worst thing that's just, ever happened to New York was politicians Eric just Adams. Be, politicians just can't be as corrupt as they once did with the mob. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. It's like he, he tried to go back to the, the mob days, but it uh, just doesn't happen. Holy shit. Yeah, I want to. I want to read into that. That sounds awesome. Is he still the mayor, or is he stepping down? Uh, I don't know. Uh, see, that's what I'm curious about. All right, back to Diddy. Back to Diddy. Uh, September 16th, Diddy is arrested. So that's that happened literally t- almost two weeks ago now. Yeah, that's like the only I heard about the hotel video, and I heard that he got arrested. Right. Is Pump- he on bail? Uh, it'll probably say in here. Uh, Combs was arrested in Manhattan after a grand jury indictment. Mark Ag- Agnifilio 
I'm just going to say Mark. Uh, one of the music moguls' lawyers confirmed the arrest to multiple news outlets, including, yeah. We are disappointed with the decision to pursue what we believe is an unjust pres prosecution of Mr. Combs by the U.S. Attorney's Office, calling his client an imperfect person who is not a criminal. Quote, to his credit, Mr. Combs has been nothing but cooperative to this investigation, and he, is, he voluntarily relocated to New York last week in anticipation of these charges. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Because he gave up, and he was like, they got me. So might as well <laughs> try to make it look as good as possible. Please reserve your judgment until they, you have all the facts. These are the facts of an innocent man with nothing to hide. He looks forward to clearing his name in court. Okay. And day after, charges revealed, unsealed. Uh, federal prosecutors unsealed the indictment this morning after Diddy's arrest, revealing that the music mogul's mogul was accused of running racketeering conspiracy that included sex trafficking, forced labor, bribery, and more. For decades, Sean Combs abused, threatened, and coerced women and others around him to fulfill his sexual desires, protect his reputation, and conceal his conduct, read the documents obtained by Billboard. To do so, Combs relied on the employees, resources, and influence of his multi multifaceted business empire that, led and that he led and controlled. September 17th also denied bail, and the day after he denied bail again... Um, that looks like the most recent entry. Damn! Sounds innocent. Uh, yeah, I think he's fine. I think <laughs> he'll be, I think he'll be fine. Innocent until proven guilty. When's the next album? That's what I'm... <laughs> when's the next album coming out? That's what... He's gonna drop an album called If I Did It. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> just like OJ. Just like OJ. Goddamn. <laughs> if I did it. <clears throat> to which he will become dirt poor and somebody will have to buy it and change it to I did it. <laughs> oh shit. Did he do it or did he not? That is the question. Um Did Diddy do it? I think Billboard did a good job at putting this together. And I will confidently say he did it. Probably. He probably did it. God damn. Yeah, I mean, well, there was that hotel video. So, I mean, no matter what you... Because it showed like him like throwing, a, throwing the girl, right? Right. So, I mean, no matter what, he's a piece of shit. And if, if he's, you know, if it's proven in court or not is kind of irrelevant at this point because he, you know, he uh, threw a woman. Right. Well, but, we don't know what she said. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Probably God, damn. Acting up. <laughs> that's, that's my that's, that's my impression of me being red pilled. <laughs> not it. <laughs> not my actual take <laughs> no uh yeah god damn no god bless her i hope she's doing better that sucks um still have roughly 16 minutes left that was our diddy portion of the podcast i have another story okay uh this is my own personal evil story um, let's see here. I'm going to try and fit this in, into 16 minutes. Um, so this is the time that I, uh, went on a camping trip with like a, a gay pedophile and, he almost like got Devin. He almost got my homie Devin, but nothing, nothing, nothing happened, and it's all, and it's all good. But so this is this is how it went down. Uh, so I was working at the Royal Gorge Bridge, which for those listening is like a bridge that's really high up. And it's over, you guessed it, 
a gorge. And <clears throat> I would work here and I would do the uh they just did this like little You're What's up? Dylan? Can you hear me? Uh oh. Hello? <gasps> oh no. Uh oh. Okay, well, my recording's still going. I will get to the story in just a second. I have to disconnect from the Discord, join it again, and then hopefully we can get Dylan back into here. Um. It is having a problem. I apologize. Actually, I'm gonna. I can have. I can pause. I can pause. Okay, we're back. We're back. Okay, I'm gonna talk about big gay pedophile now. So, and he is big too. Um, these are important details. <laughs> uh, <coughs> so I'm working at the bridge, and I work the section at the bridge that is basically like uh like kids can come up and like pan for gold and and whatnot and <clears throat> so i'm working that i'm working like a register and i work it's me and this other guy um i'm trying to remember his name i think it was ethan maybe patrick I, I don't i don't even i literally <laughs> you know what's funny he works at mugs Oh yeah. Yeah. He works at mugs and some I've he's said hi to me after like a few times and I'm just like, fuck. <laughs> I'm like, please leave me Do alone. It? But it's like he works there, so I just like I don't know. Uh um so um we're at the Royal Gorge Bridge and he also works the same area as me, right? And um you know, he's like a cool guy. He plays video games. He's got like Mario like icons like tattooed up and down his arms like the fucking mushroom block and like Legend of Zelda shit. Like he's just got all this stuff on his arms. He always brought his Switch and he was always like trying to play the Switch with everybody like right when it dropped <clears throat> as soon as it came out. Um, And... You know, we would hang out and talk and chat and whatnot. And I remember I was like, yeah, I was like 17 at this time. And he was, I remember at some, for whatever reason, it was like me, my girlfriend at the time, she also worked there. So, and and then it was him and like one other coworker. And, oh, I remember his name now. Justin. That was his name. Justin. And Justin would just go on a like rant about how to give like a the perfect blowjob to a guy, and like how you gotta like stick your finger in his ass in a way, and we'd just be like, oh okay, interesting, that's what's up. <laughs> Literally, we'd just randomly start talking about it, and uh, I remember at one point, this is gonna sound really dumb. Uh, I remember I uh, actually hung out with him like alone one time, like. At, at mom's house <laughs> like we watched um you were hoping to get a live demonstration huh i was uh yeah i was um uh i was what was it he like just said he wanted to watch a movie and we watched like this robin williams movie the Peter Pan one, whatever movie that is. I think it's called just Peter Pan. It's got Robin Williams in it. <laughs> I just said it twice. Uh, and Wait, does it have Robin Williams in it? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah. No, yeah, we hung out. I actually, I drove, I had to drive all the way out to Florence and pick him up. Mom yeah. was at home, and we just hung out, watched the movie, and that was it. Nothing happened nothing weird happened um at least not that i remember uh <laughs> but eh, i don't know maybe that's something i talk about in therapy no uh <laughs> no um 
no, nothing happened. Uh, but so we're gonna the Royal Gorge Bridge. That's all fine and dandy. And then we, I graduate high school, and me and the homies, we all decide to plan a trip to uh, just go camping somewhere and just get shit faced, get stoned as fuck, and just hang out and talk and look at the stars and just celebrate not having to fucking deal with high school anymore and we did that and it was a fucking great time it was just me and the boys and um here was the thing i was in charge of getting the liquor and i only knew justin (laughs) so i asked him to get me alcohol and then he asked me you know what it's for and i was like it's for this camping trip i'm going with my friends and he was like can i come with and i was like fuck no (laughs) i was like i don't want you to come with i just want you to buy the liquor for me and he was like can i come with and i was like okay and then i like told my friends i was like hey this guy justin's gonna come camping with us too he's buying the liquor and we're and they were like okay (laughs) and Oh shit! I'm just realizing how like horribly irresponsible this is. It's like really, really settling in. But, <laughs> but I don't know. I feel like uh, you know, if it came to it, there was like five of us, of us homies. I think five high schoolers against one like 35 year old. Oh damn! Yeah, he was like in his like late 30s. Look like a it looks like a freak. It looks like a disgusting freak. But he was weird, and I just I vibed with him. I vibe with weirdos, but sometimes they're pedophiles, and that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> um, <clears throat> need a shirt that says "None of my friends are pedophiles." Just the flex. Um. So yeah. I bring him over. We're camping. Uh, God damn. We're getting drunk. We're getting shit faced. And, uh, um, I don't, yeah, it got really, really late into the night. It probably had to been like one, two in the morning by the time we went to bed. Um, I pitched my tent. Uh, uh, everyone else pitched theirs. Some people slept in their cars. And, Devin had a tent. Devin was sleeping in his tent. And um, then I guess Justin at some point decided to climb in Devin's tent and try to talk to him and ask him naughty things, very disgusting things. And then Devin got out of his tent and I, I luckily was able to leave uh, and then came over to my tent and was like, John, your friend's being creepy. Can I sleep with you? And I was <laughs> like, I was like, damn, yeah, come on in. <laughs> his own tent. I, I was like, trying to, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, yo. <laughs> Yo! All right. That was pretty good. Uh, <coughs> and, uh, yeah, then Devin, Devin slept, the night, slept that night in my chin, and we chilled out, and I, I don't know if I apologize, but, you know, I would assume I did. Let's say I did. Makes, makes me sound good in the story <laughs> um i mean i'm sure he knew that that's he knew that uh that De- sorry that devin knew that that isn't what uh <laughs> that isn't why you brought him along <laughs> yeah no yeah that wasn't my attention um you knew that you brought him along for the alcohol right solely just for the liquor not to grope my homie um, you could say Devin almost got P. Diddy'd. 
that night. You Good know? say that. That'd be and, really fucked up of you to say. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> dude, I just tying it all together. Because uh, we did it. Episode. We did it. We made we made it through. We're just at the end. I mean, there's like there's like a few there's like five minutes left, but like yeah, we could cut it. I think I think that was a good uh, a good point to end on. Uh, sorry, Devin, for almost getting up diddied. If you're listening, I don't think Devin listens, but <laughs> I'll, ta- I'll talk I'll talk to her about it and then be, probably send her this link and be like and then at the end i talk about how how you almost got the diddy and then yeah i'll timestamp it and then now at this point devin you are listening because i said i was going to say this and now you're listening (laughs) to me talk about how now we're having a three-person conversation and now we're having a conversation about how okay i want to die i'm going to kill myself now i don't even what the fuck this is this was awesome. Dylan, thank you so much for coming on to Evil Stories with UMD. I hope you had a time. good time. Oh, yeah, yeah. I guess you did. Let's fucking go. And uh we'll see. We'll see. Dylan, you uh Dylan may return. Maybe we'll give you we'll give you another we'll give you a villain name too. Villain name? Yeah. Dylan the All villain. Caps when you spell oh, that's the right name. there. Ah, oh, Dylan the villain. Dylan the villain and UMD, bro. All caps when you spell the man name. All caps when you spell Dilly Willy. Fifo Philly. <laughs> all right, all right. Thanks for listening, and see you in the next one. Whenever I, I'll post it. I don't know when. <laughs> Bye.